Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and we are back with another episode of Fishing Planet. Now, I have gone back to Lone Star Lake by request. There have been some people that have asked me about fishing for the smallmouth buffalo. Now, I've never put out an episode in regards to this, and another big thing that's been asked of me is, you know, how do you get that type of gear that you're using? You've got that big gear. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized, you know, if you're just starting out in this game, you're not going to be able to fish with what I have, and it may be giving me an advantage. What I have done is I have come back into my tackle box and only put in things that are when you first start out, guys. I mean, basically all my gear here is... Nothing here is above a level 5. In fact, most of it's 4 or below. Now, we're going to be fishing with all the entry-level rods. So, and same with the lures. So that I can show you how to fish for these guys. And I might be spending a little time here and in Missouri as well using the same type of gear. As I said before, nothing is above a level 5. So, you guys can easily purchase this stuff or acquire it however you need to do it you know some of it may require gold but for the most part it should be with cash only all right guys let me go ahead and get this to where I want you to see this is what I'm going to be using for this particular type of fish I'm going to be using the Omnifold float 11 by 5 inches them for about five inches, can't talk. I'm using the Inspire Cast 2000 and I'm using mono 0 0.007 inch line or the 0.18 millimeter. I think this is only a three pound test, and I'm not absolutely sure here. Let me make sure. I think it is. And I'm using a number two hook. Now I'm going to use a number of baits here. I'm going to start off, actually, I'm not going to start off with the, I'm going to start off with bread. The most basic thing that you have here, that and worms, that you can actually pick about off the ground. But the important thing about this, guys, is right here is your lead. Your lead for these guys needs to be about 80 inches. If it's at 99, it's not really deep enough for 99 inches here. Your bobber will lay over on its side. 80 inches to 85 seems to be best. Alright, let's go ahead and get back to the lake itself. Now I'm going to come over here to the Swampy Exploration. That's the closest to where I want to be. And I'm going to go ahead and select a private room. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but the peak time is actually in the late afternoon because it's a cloudy day or some partly cloudy day. Anyway, this is the Swampy Exploration. That's because of the swamp area over here. And it's not too far from where you can pick up the worms. Now, if you haven't, just to show you guys, if you haven't seen where the worms are to be picked up, they're right here. But since I've got worms, I won't be able to get any. But that's where you get them, guys. Now, what you want to do is you want to come out here on this little bridge, right about uh, halfway, roughly. This is about roughly halfway. And I want my fourth rod, because that was my floater. This has got bread attached, as I said, a number two hook. And this is probably one of the cheapest. I think you can get this at level two, if I'm not mistaken. Now, you want to cast this out a pretty good clip here. Let me take the tension down just a bit. I would prefer it to be between about 90 and 70. If it's too far, that's, that's actually pretty good right there. Now, you're going to need to watch on the right side. See, I'm already getting some activity. You'll see a little bit of blue flash. That means something's interested. There we go. It didn't take long. Now I'm not sure we've got us a smallmouth. It seems a little bit on the small side. 
But we'll take a look at it and see what it is. Huh, young channel catfish. Well, I'll keep him. I will definitely keep him. I will try it again here, guys. It's not what I was hoping for, but we'll try it again. Okay, that's good. It's a good location. I might want to cast it out a little farther. If I get another catfish, what we'll do is we'll throw it out closer to 100 feet. I was just amazed how quickly I got a bite. Yeah, the catfish will pretty much bite all the time. It's not an issue. That's just not an issue around here. Okay, I think we're in a little too close. I think I'm just in a little too close. Let's test that out a little further this time. Not seriously far, but. get out too far and then I'm going to be getting a lot of bait fish. Yeah, I want to bring it in about right around here. This is good. 95. Now I will say this. It is only about 2.30 so I'm probably not going to get as many bites at this point. Might be better to advance time a little bit because I have a feeling all I'm going to get at this point is are the catfish. Yeah, let's do that guys. Let's go ahead and advance time a little bit. Let's go ahead and advance the time. See, last time I was here was a sunny day, so that was a better time. All right, let's make it a yeah, about yeah, about six. Six is good. Six is good. Ooh, it's cloudy. <laughs> it's foggy. It's froggy, as my kids used to say. It's froggy out. What the heck was that? That was a pathetic cast. There we go. Yeah, that's a little too far. Bring it in about to there. That's good. And of course you just wait. Not very long, apparently. I think I've got what I'm interested in catching here, guys. I'm not sure. Could be a catfish. It's got a little more fight in the la than the last one I had, that's for sure. And I think we got us a catfish. Yep, we do. Still, I'll tell you what. Let's switch over to the dough balls. Because trust me, these smallmouth love the dough balls, and while you might still get a catfish, the odds are a little bit less. There we go. That's better. There we go, guys. There we go. And this is what we came after here, guys. This is it. This is it. Now, we'll tell you, when you get a little further along and you're able to buy peas, these guys will go for those peas like nobody's business. As a, and also those semolina balls, but you have to be, a, I think, 8 or above to get those. 
And these guys give you quite a fight. If you want to fight, guys, if you want a big fight, this is it. They're going to give it to you. Even better than the, sweet, the spotted bass, in my opinion. But they do give you a fight. There you go. Plus 21. That's not too bad, but I tell you, they can be up to like 50 or better in XP. The XP in these guys, pretty darn high for this entry level map. Okay, we are way out too far there. And like I said, bring it in about here, let it sit a little bit. There it goes. Alright, we might have this catfish again. Ah, it's a green sunfish. Well, that's a surprise. Nice surprise, though. Aren't they pretty? I really like the green sunfish. Let's get him over here in the light. I like to look at them. They're pretty. Yeah, that was a surprise. Huh. Was not fishing for him. You can catch all kinds of things out in this area. It's just... Every now and then. Alright, we need to bring this in a little bit. I was wondering what the deal was. He wasn't really attacking it that hard, and I kept thinking, what is the deal? Okay, what I'm going to do, I am going to increase my lead out just a touch to 85. I'm going to cast it more this direction this time. I usually don't take it above 85 though, guys. Might be going a little deeper. There they are. They are out deeper this time. And I think I've got a good one here. Wow, check it out. He is really taking out the line. I'm going to increase my drag just a touch. Okay, that's, that's pushing it right there. Not all the way in the red, but it is darn close. But this is going to be a big fish here. This is going to be a big one. Now they're good. They're real good, guys, about losing tension and escaping. So, like I said, you have got you a fight on your hands. Because this is testing the max of both your line, your rod, and your reel at this level. But is it, see how you did that? See what that little bugger did? He almost escaped. Get it up, get it up, get it up. Don't let him go. Don't let his little finny butt go, that's for darn sure. Get him in there. There he is. There he is. Now check it out. Plus 29, that's much better. It's much better. All right. <clears throat> so they are out deeper with the cloudy weather this time. Looks like the barometer's low. 
and I have a lot to do with it since it's normally a high pressure barometer when it's a sunny day. Boy, they are really biting here. I don't think this is what I was after, but I've got him. Another green sunfish. Boy, these guys are just ravenous out here today. <laughs> I like the green sunfish. There we go. We're really going to do this one more time, see if we can't get one more of these guys in. Most everything in here is going to get you maybe single digits. You might get in the teens, but you're not going to get much better than that. Alright, let's see what we got here. I think we might have us another smallmouth, but I don't think he's as big as the last one. Yeah, this is a small... This is another smallmouth buffalo. You can tell by the way he's fighting. Alright. There we go. Plus 30. Much better. That's a nice XP, guys. Anyway, that's how you get them. Now, if it's a sunny day, just make sure you bring it a little bit closer. Check that barometer. If it's high, they need to, they're going to be in close to the shore, probably between about, eh, probably about 80 to 100, 80 to 100 feet, I would say. And if it's low like it is now, I would take it out past 110 to maybe 130. Anyway, guys, that's them. Let's see if we can't, just for giggles here real quick, see what the heck's biting these red worms. I don't know if they'll go for it right now or not. I usually get end up with red ears and catfish doing this, so we'll, we'll give it a shot anyway. There he is. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we got us a smallmouth, but we've got smallmouth buffalo not we got us. What do we got here, guys? It's another green sunfish? Nope, red ear. Yep. Yeah, you can get these guys by the dozen with these red worms. Too bad they don't come in trophy size here. I've not seen any, but it'd be nice if they did. Trophies are good XP. Anyway, guys, that's it. I think next time we're going to come out here and do a little bit of regular flow fishing. This time I think we might go for some, maybe some pumpkin seeds or some bluegill. And if there's anything else you want me to hunt, uh, basically fish for, let me know. Put it down in the comments. Say, I want to see how you catch uh, whatever, you know. Anyway, guys, until then, I will see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>